So, quick update from part one. I have, this is the first battery. So this connector from the BMS goes to this battery, 12S. And then this, ba this battery, of course, is in series to this battery, which is this connector here. And then this battery, of course, is in series with the last battery. So here's the cells connected to this connector here. The orange, the yellow, and the red come all the way through the cable back to the nice Orion tap validation tool. So now when I click on it, bank one, good, bank two, good, bank three, good. Correct, correct, correct. Correct, 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 and correct, correct, correct. Here's the voltages, 3.5 all the way to 43.2. Next bank is 46.8 to 86.6. Bank three is, what is that, 90.1 all the way to 129.9. Um, so I got it all working. It's all wired up. It's series, you have to connect the batteries in series. So the cells can correctly be read by the tool tap, valid, tool tap validator. So my setup is going to be um, eight batteries. So I'm gonna need to do this and this cable uh, three more times and with what five more batteries. So got that all set up. Once I get that all good to go in, then we'll go back to the Orion and try and communicate with it with my Elcon. I think it's called a PFC 4000 charger and see if we can get that all working. But I think the next step will be connecting just this one bank or the three banks into the Orion and communicate with it via Orion software. See what happens.